Okay, today's vlog was basically simple. I wanted to make a nice film negative from which I will make a carbon print. But things got uh, rough. Sure, we made nice negatives. I mean, perfect for silver gelatin. But I wanted to have a denser negative, a negative that will be perfect for uh, carbon prints, perfect for carbon tissues that are you, that, uh, with, uh, sensitized with dust sensitizer. Dichromats are much better with a low density, but if you're using a uh, dust sensitizer, it's much better to push it a little bit more. But I was not getting that. I don't know. I mean, I did my homework. I know how to develop a film to get a good density for carbon printing, but, you know, it just didn't work. Okay, when things go wrong, and I know it should go really well, and I'm really not expecting any problems, and then the problems appear, I get really frustrated, and then I get into my bulldog. Uh, uh, mode and I just bulldoze, bulldozing, bulldogging. It's not really a good metaphor, isn't it? Okay, it doesn't matter. I'm just pushing, pushing, pushing like an ox and I'm just going through every step what could go wrong. And my first step was, you know, my assistant. You know, if you, if you have an assistant, never, never trust an assistant. You know, I had few assistants, assistant, um, you always have to double check. Like for instance, like first I gave him four or five, five, four components plus water to mix together and make D76 and a recipe. And for some reason he decided to do it without hydroquinone. And um, it's very uh, good to see how, you know, D76 works without hydroquinone, only with methyl as a developing agent. Uh, but we didn't get the, the, so, you know, I thought, okay, that's the problem. So, um, so we, we fixed it. Uh, developers uh, as you should be we were getting better results but still not even close to what I was want I uh, wanted I made a fresh uh, developer out of the box you know I thought maybe my components are old uh, what else um, anyway we went through many many steps on the end what I've discovered was the film this film uh, was expired which is not a problem you know it's expired only in 2008 which is what 12 years ago you know, it, it, was, um, it was some time in his life, he was in a fridge, but obviously not long time. Anyway, um, if I'm honest, for silver gelatin, this is totally fine. And, you know, in, in my box, you know, I have, I, 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 I'm using, I have films from, that are expired in, um, so this was in September 2008, and this is from June. Uh, 1995 and you know it's still fine you know it's still it's still great you know for learning and testing and you know it's totally fine you can make a nice silver gelatin print out of that even if it's fogged and so on but what I've learned in this vlog is that expired films they although you push the developing time although you do everything necessary to get a good density they just do not produce a good density so that's why I decided just to do it again. are the sad results of our FP4. So the only difference between this and this is actually, believe it or not, is actually this is expired film and this is fresh film. This is Pomapan 100 and this is Ilford FP4. So basically the same characteristics, the same kind of similar film, but if I'm honest, I'm all my life in photography 
and I've developed thousands of films, but I wasn't expecting that. I mean, you know, usually I develop this, yeah, it was a little bit thin and a um, little bit uh, fogged, but you know, I could make a totally perfect silver gelatin print. But now when I wanted to push it, I just saw that it's no way, it's absolutely no way to push expired film to get a good density. And that's, that's something that I learned in this vlog. Thanks to you guys. From this negative, I've made this carbon print. I'm really, really proud and charmed by carbon print. You know, carbon prints are so beautiful. And I'm really happy it turned out really the best way possible. Sure, also with this kind of negative, you can make a carbon print, but it would be, it would take forever and would not, it, would be, it would not be really good because a bad negative from a bad negative, nobody made a perfect and beautiful print. No, that's not true, actually. And now we come to the main point of this vlog. Imagine that you would receive by post a box that would contain a film negative, sensitized carbon tissue, sized fine art paper, a copy frame, trace, safe mask, all the chemistry needed to make a carbon print. On top of everything, I will send you also water in powder. Okay, if you know anything about carbon printing, there are two ways. One is a traditional way using dichromats. Um, dichromats are very poisonous, um, very carcinogenic chemical. Uh, on top of everything, it's very unstable. DAS is a, is a chemical that was not really tested, but it's very, very stable, meaning um, the um, the receiver of this box will, will get uh, the sensitized tissues, will get everything ready, and this tissue will be calibrated exactly to the negative that I will uh, put inside. So basically, the receiver needs only hot water, cold water, and a sun to, make, uh, to learn and make a carbon print. First two carbon printing kits will be received by two of my most generous uh, patrons, Kingsley from Australia and Mark from United States. Uh, you will get everything needed for carbon printing. Uh, also my other patrons, if you want to have this kind of kit, please contact me and let's talk about it. Uh, eventually this kit will be ready, you know, for general public. If you want to buy it, you know, you can get it too. Talking about patrons, um, for every vlog, I'm picking a lucky patron and giving him or her uh, um, a free book on top, of, uh, on top of the deal that we have. This time is uh, Albi Granger from Great Britain. Thank you so much, Great Britain, we will miss you. Uh, not really, you know, Great Britain was a pain in the ass in the EU, you know, so... But I will, I will, I'm not talking about my Patreon, thank you so much, thank you, Albi. Uh, I hope you enjoy this book and, uh, and so on. So, um, what else? Uh, you know. Oh, I, f I forgot to say, this is only the 
first part obviously because the carbon kit uh, you know package is not finished yet it's just like an experimental phase uh, but my next vlog will be more about that um, I also encountered this it's I think it's a good theme to check to make this uh, exact comparison between expired and non-expired films that's really cool uh, theme for the next time so and uh, if you have some other ideas please share it in the comments below um, I would like to thanks to patreons to people who are buying my book and people who are coming to my workshops the schedule for 2020 is online so thank you guys you are amazing and um, and I made a big step to hire an assistant um, I must say the income is not there yet actually I'm still paying from my pocket but I believe it's it will come and if you ever consider to to support me now is a good time a little bit later I'll become rich and famous and fat and uh, I will not need a contribution but now I do and my kids too I have three kids oh my god when did that happen